Hi friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a late slide rest assembly in Katia V5. On the right side you can see the completed assembly design of the late slide rest and on the left side you can see the different drawings which are required to complete the design. In this particular part of our tutorial series I'm going to show you how you can design the fifth part that is the wear strip which you can see over here which is going to come over here alright and uh, I'll just show you how the wear strip looks like and we're going to design this particular part so to design go to start mechanical design part design workbench and lathe slide rest is the product name hyphen 5 is the product number the part number and then wear strip is the part name click on OK and you get the new fresh drawing here now this is our drawing this is the front view and the top view here two views are enough to do this particular uh, simple drawing here so I'll just use the profile tool sketch a profile in such a way that you can edit it this is of 55 degrees this is at a height of 13 and this whole distance is uh, 24 come out of the sketch and do a pad of 95 divided by 2 mirror extent I've done 95 divided by 2 because I've given a mirror extent over here so that doubles the dimension given over here Okay now we gotta drill two holes of diameter 8 on this face position sketch you need to see where exactly that uh, particular hole lies so it is at a distance of uh, 10 from this edge and and uh, we need to give this particular dimension over here so we know that uh, this point lies at the center even though it is uh, not given directly we'll assume that this point lies at the center between these two lines here so what you can really do is you can give dimension and this is a reference now just mark a dimension for this double click put equal to and click on this and go for the formula and click here and give divided by 2 click on OK and click OK so this calculates automatically the half of this particular length so this is uh, equation driven and if you want to know more about uh, equation driven uh, designing you need to go back to my uh, video list and you can type down uh, equation driven maybe equation driven on the search box inside my channel and you'll be finding that video make sure that you're not uh, typing it on the YouTube search list but inside my channel that is www.youtube.com slash user slash such a a k z k z s c a t i a v5 online once you get inside that go into the search bar and there you need to type equation driven and you'll be able to find out more about the equation driven uh, modeling just come out over here and over here this is uh, up to next hole and of diameter 10 diameter 10 that's it now we need to create uh, oh it's not of diameter it's okay alright it's not a hole over here so it's actually uh, ellipse okay that's not a problem just delete this hole here <coughs> and select give sketch now you need to create an ellipse
this height over here is 10 and this length should be 4 now as I've done before keep this dimension now give this dimension double click is equal to this one go to formula give divided by 2 click on OK and this particular length is a 10 right our drawing is still not uh, green so there must be some problem no it's fully constrained alright now select this go for a mirror and mirror it here now just go for pocket and click on up to next and that's it so we got the VR strip uh, completed the design is complete over here and if you have any doubts regarding this particular design please comment below on my video and I'll be getting in touch with you and you can also write to me at kitsia.protuser at gmail.com regarding any uh, CAD projects and you can also follow me at the blog that is www.cadmadeeasy.blogspot.com which you can see here somewhere over here and that's all wait for the next tutorials and you can probably assemble all of them together once all the tutorials have come uploaded thank you so much for watching stay tuned